Hello everyone, Zandi from Let Your Petrol Head. Quick video here. I'm a big fan of an app called ZapMap. I'm not paid to say this. They don't give me the free app because guess what? They give it to everyone. It's, you know, it's just a great free app and it's just worth having and it simplifies everything. But the app is so much more powerful than just looking at it straight away. Now, what I've got is I'm going to put a sort of a, a share screen here. And this is on my phone and it's um, the ZapMap app. So when you first load it, you can see that the screen is just you know, packed full of chargers. And there's a way to simplify this. And if you click the top left and click on connector types, you then go to rapids, you can then select the type of, um, sort of interface you have on your car. So for this one, I'm gonna do Chadamo, for example. So obviously straight away, it reduces the numbers. So let's zoom in and let's go into sort of Edinburgh. And obviously when you zoom in, more chargers pop up, so there's lots of options. Now, I'm going to talk you through what I'm seeing here. So we've got the first one, Charge Play Scotland, probably one of the more reliable sort of Scottish options. If you click on and sort of swipe up, you can go through. Now, this one's had a connector issue, but then also a successful charge. So, you know, it's worth doing a little bit of research and seeing some better options. Let's have a look at this one at a park and ride. Here you've got, um, seems to be a little bit more reliable, maybe slow on AC, but the CCS there was working great. But don't forget you're looking for Chadamo, so just sort of bear in mind the differences here. This is a Nissan dealership, so you can't really go there. You could probably rock up if you have a Nissan, but generally I tend to avoid the sort of um, charging at dealerships. Um, but yeah, there's some good options there. So then let's go over to Manchester. Let's zoom in there and just click on one on random. <laughs> good old Instavolt. So I'm a big fan of Instavolt and this is why. They're available. They're just credit card, tap them, and people are saying it's great. Someone says they're a bit slow, so that's worth considering. So, um, you can't, it's, this is why I like ZapMap. It gives you some advice. Always remember, though, that if you're using it, the people generally just report negatives. They don't tend to report positives. Right, going back into change it now to CCS, which is what my car, the i3, does. I've included the 350 kilowatt, even though my car won't charge to that, just because it gives you, you know, although it'd be an expensive option, it still works. So let's go to Lincoln. So ra randomly tap on one. Okay, BP Pulse, generally pretty reliable. I've got a um, an account with them. But look, device issues, two weeks ago. I wouldn't risk it. Let's have another look. Little in Lincoln, issues reported, pop point. Generally, they're quite reliable though. Again, Instavolt. <laughs> I really 100% have no link to Instavolt. Um, they don't pay me for saying how good they are. I just like them. So you, that's fundamentally how ZapMap works. The infrastructure is getting better and better. You can also select just different brands and I'll sort of chuck on Instavolt for again because even though they don't pay me, I think it's useful just to keep promoting them because they do it right. You turn up, tap your credit card, done. So I like Osprey as well. They're the same. Turn up, tap, done. There's no complexity there. So yeah, hopefully this has helped. As always, comment below or drop me an email if you've got any specific queries or you're not sure. But the key points of this are download ZapMap. That does all your sort of charger finding needs. Number two would be just have a, a little play with it. Understand how the filters work. Filter it down to what your car needs. Um, so if you have a car with, um, like if you have two cars, one Chatham and one CCS, you're gonna have to keep jumping about. But understand your car on, on where it can charge. And then understand how you can go into each location and have a little look in the chat. Have a look in, you know, if people are successfully charging you'll soon get a feeling for the brands that really look after their chargers and then the other brands that maybe don't as much. So hopefully that's gonna have helped. As always, you know, most of my videos are in response to comments I get and people asking for advice, because if one person's asking for their advice, I just make a video normally and explain it because that's gonna help everyone, isn't it? So thank you for watching. See you in another video very soon. Bye.